Hey guys, we're out here on Lake St. Clair today. It's mid-autumn and we're just fishing these Vex blades and I'll show you guys how we do it. So that's the 42 mil blade there with the assist on the back. So the way they come stock out of the box like that with trebles, which works really well. But I like to throw these assists on the back. I find they hold in the fish mouth better for bass and you hook more and it makes it look a bit more like a shrimp like the little legs off the back. Um, a six pound leader, six or eight pound. I was fishing four this morning and lost a few fish. So I bumped it up to six. Uh, duff rods, uh, blade and bones, and um, just some six or eight pound braid. Reel doesn't really matter, just a two or a 2,500 size reel. And um, yeah, I'll show you guys how we do it. So the technique, we're spotting bait schools on the sounder and fish around the bait schools. And we're actually casting past them. So we've got a bait school here about 40 feet that way. So I'll cast past them, fair way, and let it sink down. And when you let it sink down, you don't want the line completely slack. So you definitely want to be letting line out so the lures can fall where it lands. But if it's too slack, you don't feel the bites on the drop. So you definitely want to fish so you keep in contact with the blade as it's falling. And it's hit the bottom there. And then it's just a few short, sharp hops to get that blade going. And then let it hit the bottom again. Short, sharp hops again. And make sure it hits the bottom every time between each hop. And every day is different. Some days I want a slow lift like that. Some days I just want one hard rip. Some days you can just slow roll them. Today we found the hard ripping and hopping is what's giving them to bite it. See here we've got bait school there, about 40 feet out, and then we've got five or six fish there, and they're coming towards the boat. So we'll cast towards them. Let that lure sink down in that general sort of an area. And you can see fish all over the screen, bait school scattered. And that's what we're targeting, just them scattered fish following the bait around. Balls of shrimp, balls of smelt, gudgeons. And it's pretty cool with the live and the modern technology, you can really, really find them fish and pinpoint them. You know exactly where to cast, where the bait is. Tiny. Yeah, just a small fish. You catch a lot of them. Yeah, that's the that's the fun thing about it. When the fishing's tough like today, you can still come out and you can catch quite a few fish. Not not illegal fish, but just one you can have fun on catching them all day. Good fish. No one actually ate it on the slow roll that time. Through a bait school. That's a nice kilo odd fish.